three sons that um, were 19 years old, 16 year old, and 14 year old who were given savings bonds when they were born as gifts. And my two older sons, the bonds have matured. So my question was, is this, should I cash the bonds in now and invest them into something else? First, let's be careful how we use the term matured when it comes to savings bonds. With the exception of I bonds, whose rates reflect inflation, and savings bonds purchased electronically, savings bonds are sold at half their face value. So, for example, you would pay $500 for a $1,000 bond. The bond then accrues interest until it reaches face value. The number of years that takes, which depends on the interest rate the bond pays, is referred to as the bond's original maturity or original term. But bonds don't stop earning interest when they reach that original maturity date. Indeed, with few exceptions, bonds pay interest for 30 years. So, for example, even though Series EE bonds issued in 1985 reached their original maturity after 10 years in 1995, they'll continue to pay interest until the year 2015. That later date, when the bonds stop paying interest, is called the final maturity date. So depending on the type of savings bonds your sons own and when they were born, their bonds may still be earning interest and could possibly do so for many more years. You can see whether the bonds of all three of your sons are still earning interest by going to the federal government's Treasury Direct site. Click on the link titled, Find Out Whether Your Treasury Securities Are Still Earning Interest and you'll see a list of the issue dates for bonds that no longer pay interest. Assuming your son's bonds aren't among those that have stopped earning interest, you can then find out the current value of the bonds. To do that, click on the Savings Bond Calculator icon on the Treasury Direct homepage. Click on Calculate, and you'll not only get the bond's current value, you'll also see the total interest it's earned, the interest it's earned year to date, the next date that an interest payment will be added to the value of the bond, and its current interest rate. Although the rates currently being paid on many bonds aren't spectacular, some older bonds are actually paying pretty decent yields by today's standards, upwards of 4%. If the bonds have stopped paying interest, then cashing them in and investing in the proceeds in new bonds or something else would be the way to go. The question is, do you want to make the decision to keep the bonds or invest in something else, or let your sons decide? Whether the bonds have matured or not, chances are your sons have. If that's the case, then it might make more sense to let them decide how to invest this money, especially since you're planning to turn it over to them one way or another in a few years.